When visitors come to the Smithsonian's annual Festival of American Folklife, they expect to see or do something they've never done before. This time it was panning for gold, touching a glacier, and dancing with Eskimos, all part of the festival's celebration of the 25th anniversary of Alaskan statehood. In the logging industry, the old techniques of tree topping and tree climbing are being replaced by more mechanized ways of doing things. But young people like Gary Winnup of Sitka are keeping the old ways alive. Up there in Alaska, we have an all Alaskan logging show. And I had a man ask me if I wanted to try climbing, and I tried it. And the first time I went climbing, I took first in the logging show. So I thought it was great and been doing it now for nine years and holding my own. Winnip broke the week's record in this climb, 15 seconds up and down. From Philadelphia came another part of the festival. Audiences loved all the dancing in this area devoted to urban culture. This is called collegiate stepping, performed by members of the Groove Phi Groove Social Fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania. The third theme of the 1984 Folklife Festival was the importance of older Americans in passing on traditions. There was a stone carver from the Washington Cathedral and even a place for older visitors to record their life experiences. I've been retired uh, nine years. But you didn't need to be a senior citizen to enjoy the music of the Popovich Brothers Tamboritsa Orchestra. From South Chicago, they've been performing Serbian music together since the 1920s. Here at the Smithsonian's Festival of American Folklife, I'm Ann Carroll.